lads, here we are. We're back with Ruby um, Ice Queendom Episode 4, the English dub version. Be sure to rate the video, comment, subscribe, click on that bell, join the squad boys. If you want to you play these games, well, for the review, let's get this shit started. Ninja Reviewer here, I forgot to add that as well. But anyways, yeah, so the last episode, we, you know, pretty much had this whole thing with Weiss's development. Same thing, pretty much, I'm trying to, you know, try to be like you know entrusted ruby to make sure she's a good teammate uh, i mean teammate, a good team leader and whatnot so you know we got that stuff going on so in reality site that was really awesome even though we didn't get like a shit ton of action last week the like amount of like build up and the dialogue was like on point so anyways yeah so now we can just get started with this so three two one let's go hmm. oh, what the fuck oh i was gonna say that there was something going on in my headset or something like what why is there no sound Oh, there it is. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. We're good. 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 Everything's fine. We're good. Everything's clean. Everything's good. It was because the, uh, where the fuck they start the episode off like that. There was like silence, which is weird. But all right, here we go. Episode four. Yay. Here we go. I mean, I'm really surprised like how really well this like turned out to be. Um, I'm not sure. We'll, not sure it'll be anime of the year, but, uh, we'll see. There. Oh. Ooh, Crescent Rose in the snow. Oh. Aw. Aw, so adorable. Mm -mm. Yeah, I love the song, but I really hate the fact that like it's a. Eh. I hate the fact that it's an A and B. Of like the show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. I. It's, it's kind of dumb. I kind of wish it was just like have like new animation new stuff for the opening but i love the song though the song is still really good which i have the um whole song follow your nose wherever you go to the flavor of fruit that's pretty much the way i would see it <laughs> all right this will be the last anime library access review of the week until the weekend of course with my hero and you know whatnot also gotta see how I'm gonna feel that uh that weekend. <clears throat> we'll see. <clears throat> uh. A telephone out of the fuck out of nowhere, what the hell? <clears throat> oh again. Hey, John. Oh, there's something. And uh oh. Shnee Company. And the White Fang, of course. Oh shit, there we go. The White Fang, yeah. But the White Fang are doing shit though. Mm. To the cargo. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit.
<laughs> Let me in! Let me in! The way I see it. Well. Hmm. Or will you? Or will you be there, hopefully? I like how like, it reminds me of, like, uh, it reminds me of, um, SAO, kind of. Oh, by the way, does anybody know when Aerophone's coming out? That new, uh, that new Ruby game is coming out. Another you. It's like virtual, like, VR, kind of. Like, the, um, fucking SAO, how, like, they, they're, like, there in a different world, but they're, like, sitting down, like, playing the game, like, VR and whatnot. That's what kind of reminds me of. I get that feeling, though. Voodoo dolls, the fuck? Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rubber bands. Aw, I could have had rubber bands. If anyone caught that reference, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Old cartoon I used to watch. Hmm. Yeah. Not all the time. But who is this witch character, though? Like, I've I've never seen her before. Was she just only in the manga or something? Chad, was she in the original? No, Chad, let me know. Was she in the original? No, she was not. I can recall. I can recall. No, actually, no. I think she was only just for the anime. Yeah, I think she's just only for the anime. I don't think she was on manga, maybe? Like, the mangas of Ruby? It's possible, probably. Probably the manga. Maybe the manga or something. Mm. Aw. Yes, my big strong lesbian partner. Let's do this. <laughs> my big my big blonde strong lesbian friend. Oh everybody get hyped for lesbian Dante next week for fucking Bayo 3 when that's released. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, never mind. What the hell is his attack on Titan? I swear to God, like, oh my God. It's Mr. Clip on Time, man. Jock, you and your fucking. Well, that reminds me of Persona? Maybe Persona. I'm getting this like, oh God. I'm getting Persona vibes here. Persona, mainly Persona 5 vibes. How like he's like the owner of this palace or something. You can't stop me in my power on my clip-on tie. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm never really gonna let that go. I don't give a shit what people say. I'm not letting that shit go. I don't. I don't. I don't give a fuck. Yo, fuck Josh and his goddamn clip-on tie. I don't. Yeah, the whole bail thing. Yeah, I know. That shit was a travesty. Oh, what the f fuck was that a distraction? Excuse me? Voodoo doll? Do they actually use that as a distraction? Okay, that's a pretty unique distraction. Okay. Yeah, I swear to God, yeah. Persona 5. Except a palace. And this looks like a fucking town from Attack on Titan. If I lose it all. Da -da -da. Uh, look, the wall. The wall. Oh, shit. Here we go. Go where we go. There we go. The animation looks really great, though. Let me in. Not me. I'm the Empire. Something, something, dark side. Something, something, complete. Hmm. Follow the map. If there is one. Oh, what the hell? 
That's actually really cool. That's... Oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of person, we will bring good and important jobs to the people of. My father-in-law gave me a small load of a million dollars. <laughs> gave me a small load of a million. God Almighty. Yes, Jock. It is so not nice that he has a clip on tie on. What the f They made him a bat? Are you shitting me? They made Weiss's brother a fucking bat. You shitting me? They actually made Weiss's brother a fucking bat. Huh? Cause yeah, obviously, that's what a factory really is. To be honest. Oh, they made him a robot. Oh my god. They made Nicholas a fucking. Ro Are you shitting me? I mean Clyde. Sorry, Mike said Nicholas. I mean Clyde. They made Clyde a robot. That's fucking crazy. Bro, what the fuck kind of crazy reality shit is this? What the hell? Wow. You know, I know a certain someone that actually kind of did that years ago when he ran office. But anyways, <laughs> moving on from that. Oh. Oh my god. The sillies? The, the fuck? What the shit? Okay. Nine, why, why they sound like cats? Why? Wait, I wonder, I wonder if this is the thing that we have different compared to the original volumes. Is this actually going to be way different, like they're a different tone of a story? Like, okay, I'm all bored for it, like this, uh, this own, like, tale of the actual original volumes, in a way. I actually think this is a lot more interesting, to be honest, compared to what we got from, like, volume at least one or two, pretty much. Oh my god, Talking Flame. That is a fucking Howl's Moving Castle reference. Holy shit. That is Howl's Moving Castle. We're, we're in an anime within an anime inside an anime. What kind of fucking... Oh shit. 
This was perfectly for Halloween, to be honest. It's got this spooky vibe to it. I like this. It's kind of this kind of fits the Halloween vibe. I like this. Can I make this Halloween episode though? No, I'm kidding. All right. Oh shit, yo! Big... Big Nicholas, yo! This motherfucker huge on the intercom, son. Goddamn. This is definitely Persona. This is straight on Persona 5, pretty much. This had this had or maybe 4? Maybe No, more like 5. I was gonna say... Speaking of, this Friday, every everybody's gonna get to play the game finally because it's gonna be on everything. Even on. Oh shit, where's my phone? Oh fuck, I forgot it. I was gonna make a joke and say even on mobile phone, but I don't have my phone on me. Oops, it's in my room. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get it a bit later. But you know what? It is what it is. It's fine. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Wise. Oh, shit. No, no, no. She looks like Ezdef from fucking goddamn Akami Got Killed. What are you, Ezdef now? Except, well, okay. Younger Ezdef that hasn't fully blown on the yet. But still. But still. But still. Yeah, I'm getting straight up. Now I'm getting Ezdef, guys? This is not Akami Got Killed. No. Well, this is not a Kami got killed. The fuck. I like I like this new song though. The song's really good. Uh, oh. All right, winner.
Yo. Yo. We got finally some more action. Here we go. Uh. Yo. Mm, holy shit. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh. What? Oh, come on. Really? It was popping off. Fuck. Wait. Is this a new ending? Nani? Wait, no. Is this the same ending so? This looks like a new ending, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Is this the ending we've gone from episode two? I don't, I don't remember. There's gotta be a different ending. I just don't remember. Maybe I just don't remember, but all right. Okay, I do like it though. It's an actual Japanese song. It's it's not basically like an English song. It's a Japanese song. Yeah, this is this is totally different from the ending I saw before. Yeah, this is way way different. We must defeat the corrupted, my father. Awaken in a dream. So that's chapter five. Well, episode five, aka chapter five. All right. There's only like what twelve episodes? It's only twelve. All right. Yeah. So episode. God damn. Episode five already. Shit. All right, lads. Episode five already. All right, all right. All right lads. All right. Um. Only biggest highlight, like I said, was the whole um Weiss and like Ruby like little sections. But other than that, yeah, so let's talk about this whole, like, interdimension thing. It kind of reminds me, again, like, of, like, Persona 5, or basically stuff like Persona, what, besides that. Um, SAO, kind of, but the whole VR thing going in, pretty much in this alternate world, you know, crap like that. Kind of reminds me of that, too, in a way. And, like, also, um, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I mean, that was actually pretty cool. That, that was pretty dope. That was pretty awesome. So yeah, really enjoyed that a lot, like a lot, a lot. So again, um, yeah, a lot of crazy stuff. Like he got like Jock, who pretty much just like just owns like the entire city. Obviously, well, because of the Shin Company, obviously. Um, but yeah, definitely gives me that like really palace like Persona Five vibes once again. Uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah, and I like how to make like uh, Clyde like the fucking robot, like with, like weird. And another one. Like a door that guides the devils, and most of them sound like cats. Like yeah, like it was like what the hell, kind of weird, but still a pretty damn good setup overall. Uh, not sure if I can say it's a five out of five though. I would say it's like a four. I would probably give this one. I mean everything else is like, and like I said, this is all. I mean that again was kind of cool. Has all this amazing. Uh, I give it about a four out of five. This one was pretty solid. Pretty solid episode. Really enjoyed it. Not too much crazy action this week, but we did get some really good setups on um, some things and like that like went on pretty much with you know this this setting up this whole world in general, like the world building of this entire universe. And that was actually pretty good. Like this whole world building stuff was really, really cool and I did find it interesting. So I'm gonna give this one probably a four out of five. This one was a pretty damn solid up pretty damn good 
pretty damn good solid episode. And I love that trap that they used for white. So it was actually really, really cool. So there you go there. Very cool. I'm going to probably download that about later. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of this ep uh, this week's episode or this episode of the English, well, the English dub, I should say. Or this episode, or at least the English dub version, I should say anyway, of episode four of Ruby Ice Queendom. And I'll see you guys obviously next week or during the weekend on Sunday, Monday, whatever. If I can get to it around there for episode five, I will see you guys there for that dub episode. So take it easy, y'all. Stay safe and healthy during these wild, crazy times. Leave me wild and crazy. I'm sorry I know this was late once again, but a lot of crazy things are happening during the weekend. Maybe some like con controversy. Slim Shady, you know, with the whole Bayo thing going on. And yeah, there was a lot of things I had to say about that. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Speaking of, that's going to be an unboxing thing I'm planning to do for the original game at least. And perfect timing because I got a couple weeks for Halloween. So I'm going to see how much I can cram into that. So I'm going to get uh, Splatoon 3 more of a break, to be honest. And I'm going to go with more Bayo, to be honest, like the original game. Uh, for Halloween, it's going to be part of my Spooktacular special. That and probably the Mario Party like horror theme land. I can finally make it properly in October theme like Halloween, pretty much. So, yeah. So, anyway, this is basically it. So, thank you all for watching once again. So, yeah. Stay safe and healthy. So, good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. You know, peace the fuck out. Stay safe and healthy during these wack crazy times. It's going to be wacky crazy. Peace the fuck out. Peace, soul, love, chicken, grease, and the sky is the... Remember, anime, manga fans, keep supporting what you read and what you watch. And, uh... Uh, yeah, I can't really come up with anything, like, clever, I guess, uh, um, I don't know. Anyways, uh, play.